Who is Mark Lashley? Who's Mark Lashley? Oh gosh, uh, first and foremost, uh, a husband and a father. I think I have four beautiful kids and a wonderful wife. Um, beyond that, I'm Danish by birth, and I grew up in Denmark and came to America when I was 12. I grew up in Princeton, New Jersey, and spent time there in Boston, and from there I've gotten into business and the love of the sports, tennis. You were a Harvard uh, tennis captain team? I was, I was. I was uh, fortunate enough uh, to be accepted to Harvard, and I had four wonderful years there. I captained the team uh, for two years and played number one there, and it was a great experience. I, everybody should have a chance to go to college. You also played the professional tennis tour, the ATP tour. You were. Dennis Davis Cup player? Yeah, I, yeah. I played briefly on the, on the Pro Tour. I um, unfortunately got injured, and uh, I managed to get selected to the Danish Davis Cup team, but uh, it was all too brief. I would love to have played a little bit longer, but sometimes the body won't let you do it with the mind. Yeah. <laughs> Had there been a UTR ranking while you were still playing tennis on the tour, what would have been your UTR ranking? Oh, gosh, uh, that's a tricky question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, when we look across the gamut of professional men's players, you know, from the futures all the way up, I had just gotten through that challenger level, starting to play into the qualifiers of the, of the Pro Tour. So now you're getting up into the mid to high 14s and bridging into the 15s, and, and uh, so that's probably about where it would have been. How come not the 16? <laughs> well, I wasn't quite at that level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a long time to get to 16. What would have been the advantages for your career uh, to have a UTR ranking, to have that system? Yeah, so you know, one of the wonderful things about UTR is it allows you to understand what level you're at as a tennis player. And so it opens up the possibilities now to find other people uh, to play with uh, that you don't necessarily know. You can play in events in which people have the same level, and whenever you travel, you can find people that have your level. So I think the ability to train, the ability to play with different players and different styles, both in tournaments and individually, is one of the great things about UTR. So what is the simplest way to explain a UTR? I mean, imagine. Imagine yeah. you're talking to a 12-year-old junior tennis player. Yeah. Or a 55-year-old recreational yeah. Yeah. lady playing tennis. Yeah. What would be the simplest way to explain it? Yeah. Well, I imagine that we understood how well you play. Now, we, we call that level-based play, right? And so if we understand your level and your ability, the way we get you rated as a player is that you play against other people, and depending on what your score is in those matches, we record those results. And once you have a bunch of those results, now we really understand what level you're at. And uh, whether you're a 12-year-old boy or whether you're a beginner in the game or whether you're Rafa Nadal, um, you know, we collect those scores. And uh, now suddenly we know what level you're at. Hmm. You were the president of the Jennifer Lopez Enterprises, J Lo. Mm -hmm. In the music industry, mm -hmm. if there was such metric system like the UTR, a technology, what ranking would you give Jennifer Lopez from 1 to 16? <laughs> well, Jennifer is 16. I mean, J Jennifer is at the top of the game, as they mm -hmm. say. You know, uh, she's an incredibly gifted performer and artist. And, um, you know, I think she certainly has mastered. Uh, the other thing she's done, very much like the Federers of the world, is she's reinvented herself and, and continued to improve her art, um, which is, you know, what great champions do. Yeah, I like that. Imagine that there was a metric system in the music industry. It'd be great to measure the best artist. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think the, the wonderful thing about ratings is that you can really measure things and you can understand things like that. It, it, yeah. it, gets, it gets to be interesting and exciting. Yeah, it'd be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going back to tennis, yeah. what is your vision for the UTR? So, you know, when we set about getting involved with UTR, it was the idea of saying, gosh, uh, can we create a global standard where we can get everybody in the world rated in tennis? Because if we can rate everybody at every level, community tennis, recreational tennis, pro tennis, across all ages, all gender, and all geography, now we have what we have in golf, which is sort of like a, can a golf handicap. And now everybody can get together and communicate and find better opportunities to play. And that's our vision, that's our excitement, and um, we don't have that today. It's a very fragmented world, and it's very hard to find people to play with. And so we want to make the game better. Uh, we want to connect people, and we think having that piece of it is the beginning of that.